For those of you who are new to the channel and are expecting something about cryptocurrencies or finances or something of that nature, uh, the rest of the week, you know, you got me. Uh, I speak about cryptocurrencies, but on Sunday, I try to give you a different type of message, a uh, message to edify you and to try to help you. And by no means do I take the approach of a holier than thou. Um, I respect, uh, I always tell people I respect the office of a pastor. Um, I do speak about God, but I do not consider myself a pastor. I do not consider myself anything of that sort. I just want to share uh, messages that can hopefully be a blessing to you. Now, with that being said, let's get on to that Sunday special, this message. I want to talk about compassion. I want to talk about mercy. I want to talk about love. And I want to talk about it in this manner. Uh, there's a lot of people that we come across uh, that we believe do not deserve compassion, that we believe do not deserve mercy, that we believe do not deserve kindness uh, because they're so nasty, they're so rude, they're so mean, they're so ungrateful. Yet those are the ones that need the most mercy. Those are the ones that need the most compassion. Those are the ones that need the most kindness. Because somewhere along their path of life, something happened to them where they just turned nasty and rude and mean and, and there's things going on in their lives. And what you're noticing is the fruit, but you're not focusing on the root. Now, Listen to me. I am about balance. I'm a balanced individual. I am not saying for you to be a doormat and for people to run all over you. I never will ever say that. I talk about balance. You need to have wisdom. You need to approach every situation with wisdom and every situation is different. But there are those who really need kindness. There are those who really need mercy. And you get frustrated and you're like, man, I can't stand this individual. It could be your your father, it could be your mother, it could be your wife, it could be your husband, it could be uh, uh, someone you really know, a close, whoever it is. And you know that they're really not such a bad person. They just have a really nasty attitude and they're hurting and they're hurting and they're hurting and they wake up with hurt and you never know. The change you can do in that individual's life. When they repay you with rudeness, you repay them with kindness. When they repay you with, with these harsh comments, you hold back in patience. And you say, man, you know what? This person's hurting. Instead of going back and forth, hate for hate. If, not, if anything, you just stay calm and you keep your mouth shut. Or you, you respond with some kind of words of love and peace, and try to be the peacemaker. Again, I'm not telling you to be a doormat. I'm not telling you for people to take advantage of you. That's not what I'm saying. Every situation is different, all right? Every situation is different. You got to use wisdom and, the, and common sense, uh, but I'm speaking about certain individuals, and I don't know why, more to the, to the liking of a family member, all right? And you know what? This message might not be for everybody. This message might be specifically for one individual who's going through this. But you know what? It's worth it. Just know to share love, share compassion. Do your best to be the peacemaker. And, and you know what? Your life is blessed. That's, that's part of being blessed to be a blessing. Since your life is so blessed... Maybe their lives are not blessed. Maybe they're going through many things. And you might be going through similar things, but your faith and your belief and you understand that you are blessed. They're on the other side where they're worrying and they're depressed and they don't know how they're going to make it and what's going to happen and uh, a divorce, an illness, uh, something that's going on. But you're at peace and you might have similar things going on in your life, but you have this calmness because 
you know and believe you're blessed. So part of being blessed is to be a blessing and share that blessing by being kind and share that confidence. And hopefully through you being a blessing, you can help them realize and see, wow, look at, look at how they responded to me. I was, I was so rude. I was so nasty. Yet, they responded in kindness and mercy. And you never know what breakthroughs you can do for that individual. So the message is be kind to the to those who are rude. Be compassionate to those who, who probably don't deserve compassion. And show love. Do your best to be a peacemaker. Do your best. Again, we all fall. We all are human. You know, just because we're angry one day doesn't mean that we got to be in condemnation, you know, that, oh, my God, I'm the worst person. No, but do your best. Do your best. All right, guys, like my video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, 007, MacMac007. You know, on Sundays, I bring a different flow, a different message. For the rest of the week, we talk about finances, investments, and things that go along in, in the world uh, and cryptocurrencies. But on Sundays, you already know. All right, guys, I'm out. Be blessed.